Meanwhile, at the new Borto parts. It's fucking 44 degrees. I could do with some water. Time to pull the cylinder head off. Just uh, stripping the head to take the cylinder head off. We'll see what lurks underneath. Okay, the head's basically ready to come off, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna move the engine into the back room and set up properly to put the head down on the table in there and have a nice clean environment to work. And then we'll see what's in here. Good morning, everybody. It's raining outside now, so, you know, this weather's all over the place. So I've been thinking about the 3T the last couple of days because I took the head off. I don't think I showed you inside it, but the bores are, um, they're, they're pretty smooth, glazed. So it's going to need a hone. It's not as easy as just throwing a, uh, a head gasket in and, and, and starting the motor and going. And if you're doing that, if you're getting it honed, if you're replacing the head gasket, you know, with rings, replace the bearings, do the lot properly. So it's looking like I have to do a full rebuild, which I'm fine with. Um, it's just a tight deadline at all. So I might, it's either I won't make it to all Japan day, or I'll smash out this build and it will be a rush like the 18RG was. Granted, I never had any issues with the 18RG. It fucking ran great after I rebuilt that in 2015. It was, it was I had no issues with it. Um, awesome motor. But I built that a week before All Japan Day, and um, and it's the same deal with this uh, with this 3T, except I've got what three weeks, four weeks, yeah, which seems like a long time, right? It is a long time to build a motor. The problem is I'm running a business as well as renovating the house. Um, as well as working on the van because I need to get the van ready for all Japan day too in case that gets accepted um, And I need to take that instead of new so Yeah um, Bit of a predicament we might not make it But it doesn't change the fact I have to continue hunting for parts for this motor I still have to find crossover pipe. I still have to find a TPS. I still have to find a friggin a good throttle body all that jazz because right now it's bare bones so I'm going to have to find all these parts ready for the build either way. So I'm going to keep hunting for stuff. All right, we'll get this done. Whether we make it to All Japan Day or not, we'll get this done. But um, I better get out there and, and, and start working. Couple more pieces to the puzzle. Yeah, I don't know. My optimism for making All Japan Day is uh, dwindling very fast. I don't think it's going to happen, guys. At least I found the uh, crossover pipe that goes on the front of the valve cover there, connecting off the uh, turbo to the AFM. Um, that's off the throttle body. I've got also some plenums on the way. I'll have a have a play around with all this, piece all this together, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I was feeling super optimistic a couple weeks ago, and looking at it now, it's like, mm, nah. Because finding all these extra pieces that I need uh, is proving challenging. I still need the crossover pipe from the turbo to the um, to the throttle body pipe, uh, and I haven't found one yet I'd, and if these plenums don't have throttle bodies which I don't remember I just bought them because my plenums had all the holes welded up if it doesn't have the throttle body I'm gonna have to hunt for one of those if it doesn't have a TPS I'm gonna have to want, hunt for one of those yeah it's looking pretty unlikely at the moment oh, okay. Fuck. well this just rocked up literally a few hours after I recorded showing these bits off and I reckon this is the J 
judging by the shape and the size, this is the uh, the intake plenums. So uh, I have a sus. I'll do this one first because I reckon that one's just the SU ones. Yeah, we'll do this one first. Oh yeah, that has a throttle body. That has a throttle body. Oh my god, it has a fucking TPS. Shit yeah. Oh! Oh no shit! Oh fuck, now I've got three of these. That's... Yep, that's... I've got three of these fucking things now. <sighs> Shit. Wow, these have the fucking... Oh, I can't believe it. Yes. Yes. See, mine has all these holes welded up. And a completely different throttle body. So it wouldn't mine, my setup wouldn't work with the ECU. Mine doesn't have the cold start injector thing. It's welded up. That breather's welded up. Mate, this is everything I need, really. You know, other than the pipe that goes from here, or from those those ones, the flanges, to the turbo, I now have all the factory stuff, it seems. Which is awesome. That's fucking... Oh my god, I'm so stoked by that. I, I just bulk bought th these three things. I didn't know they had throttle bodies. I didn't know there was a throttle position sensor. I thought they were just the bare plenums. I was like, well, I need a plenum, so I'm gonna... I'm just gonna stack shit up there for a minute, dodgy as. Holy shit, man. That is just awesome. O-ring for the intake, which is good. I've got hundreds of O-rings around. I can match up to that. Now, let's have a look at this other box quickly. That's fucking everything I need, man. I just... Oh, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Big thanks to uh, to that Luke guy. Luke, if I forget your name, you're the 3T Plenum guy. You're a legend. Yeah, this is the, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the sick SUs or something, he's just saying. I don't know why you would have SUs on a 3T GTE. Is that in there good? There we go. What in the fuck? I just happen to have a fucking SU sitting right there, actually. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I could run... I could run some SUs to make it to all Japan day if I really wanted. So that's obviously a home matey. I don't know why anybody would go SUs. I mean, I guess they're, they're pretty easy carbies to, um, to put boost through because they don't have a float. Or a conventional float like a, like a carby, but... I don't know. This is just this is a weird thing to do to a an EFI manifold. Strange. Very strange. Like, it's well done. I just don't see a point. Okay, I really don't see a point. But, anyway, I got that with the lot. I wasn't going to complain. Especially not now, because that has all the bits I need. I just need the crossover pipe from the uh, throttle body to the turbo. And then I have everything. I just need to rebuild the motor. But, I'm not going to get my hopes up. Because I still don't think I'll make the Aldridge Band A. Even if I build the motor, it's, you know, there's going to be issues. There always is. There's always fucking teething issues. Um... But, uh, yeah, that's, 
that's made me pretty happy that that had a throttle body and a TPS. Um, oh, the only other thing I need is a bloody um, igniter because these run a weird igniter. I think I said in the last video they have uh, one igniter for two coils, so I've got to get one of those. I think I can get that and the crossover pipe thing from the guy in Russia. The Russian guys, the one I got the ECU, the loom and all that from. So um, I reckon I can get the igniter and crossover pipe from him and then it's just a matter of rebuilding this. So I might not make all Japan day, but I should theoretically have noob running this year. Easy. One week later. What was the chances? Okay, I hate to get my hopes up, but I could still potentially possibly make it to All Japan Day. Going by this. We'll see. I've messaged the guy. Um, we'll see what happens, whether this eventuates to anything or not. But if I could get this, which is mostly factory, other than forged pistons and a Wolf ECU, I could probably buy it, drop it into Noob, and fit all my factory stuff to it. But we'll see. Next time. Noob auto parts. Literally zero parts. It's a done deal.